Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today is going to be a little bit of a break from the Funko Pops of Wrestling and everything else because we're going to redirect that all towards EverQuest 2 and I'm going to tell you about my complaints of Scars of Destruction. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. So I don't know if you are an EverQuest 2 player or an MMO player, but I'm going to tell you straight up, this expansion is pretty fun. I'm having a lot of great times with new players who are returning, different guilds, different folks from different countries, and we are blasting through zones like it is no other. Now granted it is just the heroic ones, we I have not touched the H2s because I would have to change so many pieces of gear that I'm wearing with the Dorns and the Resolve levels, it would just drive me nuts. Now, am I doing this as I'm going along? Of course. So let's go into my likes and dislikes of the X-Pack so far. So let's start with one of the most biggest things that I have a problem with, and that is the gear drop. Now, I believe that the makeup of your group, you're allowed six people, it should depend what loot drops based on the makeup of the group. If there's no leather wearer, why is there leather dropping? If there's no chain wearers, why is there chain dropping? It should really be statistics based on the group. I know this game is very high tech and nowadays we're in 2024. There is a way to do it where you can fix that kind of, um, I don't know, loot table or shit like that. Uh, here's another thing I don't like about it. Well, I don't like the fact that if you don't have other players who have the inside out details about everything, you would never be able to know what you're supposed to do. For example, once I completed the adventure timeline and some other quests, there is a mount that you need to buy from a status merchant. Well, the status merchant has the same mount that you're wearing, except there is a little ending on the name that it doesn't even appear when you look at it. You have to hover over it and read the stats. In order for you to get another mount trained that's better than the one that you bought with the expansion, which is a hundred and some odd dollars, they give you a free pass to like the third level of completion, which is fantastic. But if you didn't know that you had to buy that prior mount, well, you're starting from the top, baby. And guess who started from the top? This guy right here, Aaron. Thank goodness I had a friend, Fogue, who talked me through it and let me know what was going on and I, I fixed it. I corrected it and everything like that. Now, you guys know in this game I play a Shadow Knight. As a Shadow Knight, my main role is to tank the mobs. Keep the mobs off the DPS, keep the mobs off the healer, and they made this X-Pack so difficult right now. I haven't touched H2s yet, but in H1s, since the Rangers and Conjurers and Casters are hitting so much higher than me on, on the parse and shit like that, I can't keep aggro. I'm hitting all my aggro spells and listen, these mobs are dying so fast. It's not really a problem as of right now, but the only hate adorn that you got from two X packs ago don't even work. That's right. Any adorn that is not 130 will not work on your character in any of these zones. I do like that kind of aspect that you have to, you know, go for the gear, get new stuff. But if you're not going to provide me with a new hate adorn or any kind of ruin like that, that's stupid. Just blatantly stupid and pointless give me something good folks daybreak you take enough of my money every single month for a subscription you take enough of my money when i have to buy upgrades because they are costly and if you want to compete with the best you got to put money in and get to that tier so give me a new hate adorn i would appreciate it thank you thank you thank you so uh let's see what else don't i like mm, the overland mobs ah, that's all right i don't know how to work the bounties that's kind of shitty i don't know how to do that stuff um, some good things I like. Oh, wait, more things I dislike. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, last expansion, you got this item, an avatar weapon that you could basically get to level 510. Well, those weapons are completely null and void. Well, they're going to come into play later on in the expansion, but right now they are totally garbage. You can go to a merchant once you complete everything and you can upgrade them through going through the solos and H1s. Cool. They're 525s and they have better potency. So all the work that I put in every single week to try to get these things are shit. So I don't like when they shit on the old gear right away that they make you like kind of pressure you into doing. And then once you start the next X Factor, like, listen, you just got to get rid of it. Sorry. It, it, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth for when I got an 
a weapon prior. I had to get like 550 little tokens and they only dropped three at a time. And then when I upgraded my weapon, the next X pack, they're basically pointless. No use for them at all. Pissed me off. So let's jump in since we only have like two and a half minutes left of the things that I do like about the expansion. Uh, I like that the expansion was pretty straightforward with the adventure quest line and the trade skill quest line. Very good. Uh, well, I, I don't like the fact that after you completed everything, you basically got no rewards except achievements. That kind of pissed me off. So I'm jumping back and forth here, folks. Uh, good thing is I like that it brought a lot of people back. There's a lot of new content. Oh, another thing I dislike, how big these zones are. Between one mob to another mob to a shorter distance between one mob. What the F were they thinking when they created this shit? Garbage! Zones are too, too long for not enough... What's that called? Not enough, uh... Whatever, pay, payoff. Not enough payoff. If there was something that you can explore and get, cool. Give me more content in that zone. But you're not giving me enough content. You're giving me five bosses that sometimes are very short distances, sometimes are very long distances. You can kill a boss that's... Uh, you know what? I'm never going to go through any of the good stuff because there's a lot of bad stuff in this, huh? You know, when you kind of think about it, it kind of irks me that um, <laughs> that it's not as good as I think it was. Uh, but yeah, returning players is great. The fact that I'm getting groups and stuff outside of a guild is all right. I joined a new guild, as you know. I joined Reported. Um, you know, it's, it's great so far. I haven't rated with them yet, but I'm, I, you know, I've only gotten two groups in reported. The rest have been pug groups with just random people that I've met. I've taken a lot of friends' names down. Am I going to hit them up? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to hit them up. Have you advertised eight minutes with Aaron? Yeah, I definitely have. Uh, but I do like the fact that there is new stuff right now. I'm liking that there's new weapons that you got to upgrade from copper, bronze, silver, platinum. No. Silver. No, 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 no. Let's start from the bottom. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum. I don't know if there's a platinum, but I think there's a gold version. And I think the weapons go up to like 565 or some shit like that. So that's going to be crazy when you enter the raid zones. But the raid zones don't open to January, so you're kind of like peaked for the next month or something if you do hit that bracket or you get all the gear. But I guess you can work on an alt and shit like that. I, however, have not worked on an alt yet. Um, some class changes. I really do like the class changes with the healers. Uh, the Filers are doing a lot better than the, um, uh, what's it called, the uh, Mystics, which is a pretty good thing. Though the Mystics do give a very hefty, hefty crit bonus overcap boost. So it's a little like, do I want the crit bonus overcap or do I want the Defiler who's rocking the heels by themselves? I don't know at the time, but right now I keep running with the Defiler and I'm not going to complain about that at all. Uh, the Shinies, I don't like the position of the Shinies. I knew it was, I was going to go back, look. I didn't even talk about any more good stuff. I kind of rolled back into the bad stuff. I should have just made one episode of all the stuff that I don't like about EverQuest 2's expansion, Scars of Destruction. Remember the name, baby. You got to give me props when I remember something that I think I'm going to forget. But let's give this expansion an up or down. I've been able to play it for like a week now, and I'm about to say this some bitch. That's not even a week. This some bitch for the first four days. It is getting a. Is it four days? Yeah. It is getting an up. That's right, EverQuest 2. You know why? Because you brought my boy tight back. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes of Aaron. I will see you next time. We're talking about more stuff, more things, and of course, more of me. Hey! See you later. Bye.